Hey everyone, I'm Alex. I'm back with you on Thursday today. So like I said, once a week I try to do a moments conversation and kind of just discuss. And the past three days have been very skit, fun things. I'll have another fun thing tomorrow. Can't wait to show you what I've planned. But I also want to sit down and talk about arts and the moment again today. So last semester I was at Ohio State and when I was at Ohio State I did some research on why art is considered a public value and why it is important. Um, and I want to start off with a quote before I get into it. What this world needs is art. Art and more art. Art in a social, civic, economical relations, in religion, in government. We have a vast deal of science, of flying machines, but a great emptiness of imagination and a great bareness of beauty. That's by George Bellows. I want to take a moment and just say that art is very important, but right now we do need to focus on the science and focus on how we can get out of the situation. I do want to say thank you to the nurses, the doctors, the people working in the grocery stores, the delivery men, the people who are still doing curbside pickup at their restaurants. Thank you because this wouldn't be possible without you. Going back to that, art is so important. At the soul of it, creativity brings art. And also creativity brings innovation and without creativity we lose innovation and now there feels like almost an emptiness and a quiet sense of creativity and people i know are struggling creating new content is not easy some days it's easier than others some days it is the most challenging task and the most horrid thing i want to do today but also that creates the community and also brings something to everybody's day. When art is in question, it becomes concerning. And when we start turning a blind eye, it becomes concerning as well. Michelle Obama, I'm gonna quote her. Um, she said a really great quote when she gave a speech. I forgot where it was, but it's a great quote. The arts are an essential part of our kids' education. This is really what we're talking about. What we mean that no one should ever think that dance and music and theater are a luxury. I say this every year, because for so many of our students, they're true necessities. They're the reasons these kids show up. And right now, it might be harder for others because art is the reason they do their day to day and they're not getting that. Um, which is why I want to do this, do this journey with you and be able to collaborate because I want people to continue showing up and working that part of themselves. Um, Yes, it is a pandemic and this is concerning. It is not necessarily the time to work on that dream project and do that DIY if you can. Great, great, good for you. If you can't, also okay, don't worry about it. But it is also so important to remember why art is important in this moment. If you look online, you see so many people and theaters and various art venues trying to find a way to bring art digitally to us now, which is astonishing and I'm so grateful for that and bring this community forward. And in this time, we need that community. In this today, I also want to touch on some quotes from a book called The Last Lecture. In this book, Randy Powell, she was a professor at Carnegie Mellon who passed away of cancer many, many years ago. It's a fantastic book. It is life lessons and I recommend it greatly to anybody. It's probably a book I read every couple months in different parts of my life. There are some quotes in here that I do want to sit down and talk about. To start, the brick walls are there for a reason. The brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something. Because the brick walls are there to stop the people who don't want it badly enough. They're there to stop the other people. Right now, we are at a collective brick wall. Everyone is being stopped. But now we are showing our resilience. We are standing hand in hand, six feet apart, <laughs> but we are metaphorically standing hand in hand and showing this brick wall what we're made of. It's a massive brick wall that we're climbing and trying to get through, but we will in time. Okay, another quote. It's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you get hit and keep moving forward. We are going to continue moving forward. This was a massive blow, massive blow to the stomach. But we'll keep moving forward. This is a moment. We got hit really hard and we have to move forward. We will move forward and we'll get to that next point. I'm excited to see that next point and I'm excited to see how we move on from this. Quote number three, never underestimate the importance of having fun. 
we can't stop having fun, but we can still look for fun and we can still look for ways to have fun. Because if we sit here and just dwell in what this is, it will get very heavy and it can be debilitating. That's okay. But you can have fun. You can have fun watching TV. You can have fun reading a book. You can have fun napping. No one's dictating what that fun looks like for you, but you can still have fun and do what is healthy for you. But still have fun. When we stop having fun and we start losing creativity, that's when things start to suffer more. So we lose something called social capital, and social capital basically is a cornerstone of society, is the exchange of ideas and values, and it binds us together, and it doesn't divide us. And there is a lot of division, and there's a lot of polarization, and through things like art and TV, entertainment, those are ways we're finding bonds between each other, and those are valuable. But I'm gonna have fun in a sense that doesn't deteriorate from others. Fun isn't a finite thing. It, you can't use up fun. So I'm still going to have fun in any way I can, but just change it to what it is in the moment. This is the last quote I'm going to get from the book, and then I'm just going to finish off my rambles. We cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. We need to play the hand. This is a hard hand. This is a really bad hand. But we can choose how we play this hand and how we get through this. There's a lot of great quotes in this book. I really recommend it. Um, I know I am like advertising for free, but like it's great and hands down believe in this book. This is all very hard. And like I said, I've been looking back at my capstone research and in the combination of what I did these past few months when I was working at RWS on stomp, looking forward to summer things that might have got canceled. It's a rough hand. The people who are in school got a really rough hand. But we are changing the way we're having fun and we are just playing the hand we can do. Going back to what art is. Art and entertainment, art in any form, really brings us together. I've been walking the streets and I've been seeing people draw and say, stay strong and smile and rainbows that people have been making. And that art is affecting our day to day and it's bringing hope and energy and it's bringing positive vibes in so much more. So don't stop doing the art and entertainment because I think we can see right now how important it is. I wanted to take today in this moment, like I said, I have my moment conversation once a week to discuss art and my realizations and things that are important to me from the book. I want to take this moment and discuss art and my, my personal realizations and also things I found cool from the book that I love. Obviously, this is my opinion and this is what I think and this is my outlook. And this is just a space for me to also share with you my opinions. Whether you disagree or agree, totally fine. Um, but I just, I like getting this out and saying this and putting this into the universe because I think positive energy and positive thoughts do help regardless of who you are. And on that, take this moment again and figure out what you can do for yourself and just mutter through and there will be a tomorrow and there will be an end. What the end looks like, we don't know, but we'll get there and that's important. And on that, Alex is out. Catch you back here tomorrow for a fun new video.